Hey guys, good afternoon. Got something pretty cool going on today. Something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And uh, you guys are gonna get to see it go down. It's right here in this box in my hand. All right guys, let's get in the building, get set up. I'll show you what we got. I ordered this from Hobie. This is a new spline for my drive. And I'll show you what this is gonna be used for. I ordered that. You set of turbo fins, and all I need on this is just the reverse and the forward, but I ordered these two. Guys, that's what we got. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss it. All right guys, so what we got today is, we got my drive, and I'm fixing to make it a 180 drive. And what I had to do to get the parts is I had to order me a brand new spline. Spline. So we're getting ready to take this thing out of the pack. Bring out the old machete here. <laughs> Not really. All right, here's my drive. This right here is going to what's going to uh, make this a 180 drive. Here you go. So I got my reverse and forward, which I won't need this part here. I only need the the part with the with the trip the, the finger part. And I'll just screw that down in there. I got two of them. Right, a reverse and forward, and I also got my turbo fins that will go on last got all that what we're gonna have to do to begin with is prep the drive itself so put all that to the side uh, so we'll need some tools so I'm gonna grab some tools and uh, be right back all right guys what you're gonna need for this for this install as I kind of showed you to begin with but you're gonna need if you order these these pull you get one of each one pull rod is a little bit longer than the other and uh like i said you get one of each so uh and these right here you won't need these because your spine already has it on there so you won't need that all you need is the pull things right here so get that out of the way um you will need a set of fins whether you go with turbo or non-turbo i just chose to go with turbo it's $160 a piece. The spine, I think, was like $260 or something like that. So, you know, I think that's what the price of it was. But you can go with turbo or non-turbo. But I will tell you that the non-turbo is only like $10 less. I'm pretty sure. But could be wrong on that. I'll double check myself. Uh, the item number on the fins is, uh, I'll have it in the description below, but the name of it is ST Turbo V2 Fin Kit MD180 Black, of course, and the item number is 7206702. All right, so that's what you'll need as far as parts. What you'll need as far as tools, you'll need a block of wood, or two. Um, you'll need a 17th, 7 16 wrench and a hammer. And you also need some tape of some kind. Black tape, this is just some red tape. Masking tape, it don't matter, just some, just some tape. So you need that. Well, the thing we're gonna do first, it was gonna pull the fins off this drive. First thing we gotta do is remove the little pins here or the little clips. Uh, so we'll take that off. Got two of those, one on each side. And then you'll just push these little pins here out the back side. And there you go, there's the pins. So then you wanna just pull these old fins off Set them to the side. All right guys, next step what you wanna do, whenever you're taking these cables off and all that stuff, you want to make sure you count your threads. 
So just get an idea and make sure you, you know, take a picture of this. Take your phone and just snap a picture of this. Get an idea of what it looks like. And that way you can come back later on and know exactly how to put everything back together. Cause you don't wanna, you don't wanna do something to mess that up. Guys, that's also gonna be a good time to go ahead and clean this thing up a little bit. Why you got it tore down anyway. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is take all these three nuts off. No ejecting just a little bit. Get it started while I can get it out. Alright guys, so what I did was is I took a Sharpie and marked that center chain link. So that way I know whenever I put my chain back on, it's gonna line up. So I just took a black Sharpie put a line all the way across it onto the sides. So that way I know whenever I put my chain back on, I'm centered up. So we can pull our chain off now. And we're gonna have to clean that chain whenever we get back to, cause this thing is quite dirty. I've never had it off before. All right, so next thing we wanna do is, is pull this right here off this has got bearings inside of it so make sure guys when you sign it off your bearings don't all fall, fall out now if they do it's not the end of the world don't worry about it you can get them back in there but it's just easier if you can work them work this uh, side off without the bearings falling out so that's what we're going to try to do and i can already tell i can already feel in the back mine's start trying to come out kind of trying to come out but and they probably will I'm it needs to be greased up anyway I'm probably gonna take it apart and grease it up like I say it's not the end of the world it ain't no big deal just see there they go they all fell down but just make sure they're all in there so that way whenever you go to put it back because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lather that thing up in grease again and they all going, they all will stick to the outside and you slide it right back on there. So I'm gonna put that over here to the side and then I'm gonna do the other side. You just don't wanna lose them. That's what your bearings look like. Look like just little pins. So just make sure they don't, you don't lose them. I'm right, gonna set that one to the side. Next step is getting this right here off. And it's not, it's not hard either. I need an Allen wrench for this part. So let me grab it and the right size and I'll be right back. See, I'm gonna guess this right here may be the right size and I am right. So, it looks like it's 1 8 Allen wrench. You will need this Allen wrench, this bolt, 
here for your other, putting your other drive, your other spine, okay? So don't lose that, don't, don't, you'll need that. So next thing all you gotta do is take, and we're gonna slide that pin out. So just, you can grab your Allen key, just slide that pin right out. And all your bearings should be intact. And this pin, this pin's got a flat place on it, on the front here, and it's got a slot in the front. So just make sure whenever you put it back in there that the Allen wrench or the Allen key is in that slot. So that's how you know how it goes back in there. We're gonna clean all this back up, reuse it here in just a little bit. All right, next thing we're gonna do is take this, take this here out. This is probably the hardest part of the whole deal. Uh, but first thing we gotta do, this is where the tape comes into play. We're gonna take this tape, we're gonna put on one side of it. Clean it off a little bit here, so it'll stick. Put it right up against, right up against that shaft, right up against the, 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 the old spine. Just make a few, Loops around it. We'll go one more time here. When you put it back in the new spine, it's got to be centered. It's got to be centered. This is going to take our block of wood and we're going to knock it out. Here we go, guys. That's it. That's what your spine looks like, or your, your, your pin looks like. And now you know exactly how far to go back into it when in your new one. Oh! So now you're done with your old spine, and uh, now you can put this to the side. You may need this later. You never know. Before I get to the next step, as far as putting everything back together, I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this stuff up, get it ready uh, to put back in here. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you real quick uh, how I clean this drum on this side and what I'm using to put it back together with. Um, I'm just using some of this red tacky wheel grease. It's marine grade. I'm using that. Uh, I've used it on other stuff before with these drives and it works fine. Um, I've already got this one ready to go. If you can see, hopefully we're focused. You can see everything. It's all cleaned up, ready to go back. And I'm fixing to do the same with this one. So I got my grease packed in there. I'm going to take each and every one of these little pins here. You should have 15. If you don't have 15, you need to find 15. <laughs> and I'll show you what this Sharpie is good for as well. Uh, it comes in handy here in just a minute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and wipe off every single one of these. Just to get any grit and grime or anything off of them. I took that drum and I just put it, I don't have the top on this, top busted, but I knocked a hole inside of it. I just dripped a little bit of WD-40 in down in there and took my cloth and just wiped it out to get any old residue, whatever, out. Okay, got them all cleaned up and I'm gonna work them all back down in there and I'm gonna use that Sharpie here in a minute to help me out. Take and just move that around down a little bit and this stuff is tacky, tacky, tacky. And get a few started down in there. And they won't go out so far because it's got a little plastic bush on the back side where they won't go all the way through. And I'm gonna take my Sharpie here and it's just big enough that I can keep it, I can keep them stuck to that outside 
by just working around a little bit. You take my Sharpie, put that in there. All right, good to go. So they're all, they're all back in there. Gotta take this thing and put it in the new spine. So we'll do just what we did before. So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna get it started straight. Okay, starting to go through. Wood's about ready to bust on me. Get a good treated piece of wood here. That's about it. There we go. So I may have to knock it out just a little bit on the other side. Now we can put our wheel back on right here in the front. So the way we want to do that is as I mentioned, Wheel goes in there, you stick your pin in there. This notch on the front, like a flathead screwdriver, just to make that way you can line it up. Uh, we're gonna take this rattling wrench bolt, we're gonna get it started back down in there. And like I said, you want that flat part Getting, getting snug. All right, there we go. So now we got our wheel back on there. All right, now we want to take our pedals and put them on there. And you gotta make sure you get them on the right side here. Slides right on. Slides right on. I'm gonna flip it over. And then I'm gonna hook my chains back up. And as I mentioned before, the gear on this on this V2 drive, or any of these drives, on the sprocket down here, I guess you might call it, um, it has one square lug on it. So you wanna, what I did was, I went ahead and pre-marked it. So that way I know exactly where center on this thing is going to be at. So I'll get that, go ahead and get that on there. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take me a little piece of tape to keep these foot pedals from going everywhere. I'm going to tape it. All right, so now they ain't going to move. Keeps everything in the center as well. work that back down there and this new one it's flat on one side so yeah okay I'm gonna find my spot on my chain where I marked it on the center sprocket and now I'm gonna work this one down in here as well I can probably see this side a little bit better here 
right, now what I'm gonna do is take some lithium grease and we'll put on this chain while it's still a little bit loose. And now I'm gonna put just a little dab of uh, WD-40 on these bolts or these nuts. Just a little dab. All right, now I'm going to tighten all this stuff down. Now I can go ahead and put my fans on. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is put my rods in here and what you'll need for this is a something flat like a crescent wrench or whatever. So I'm gonna, or I'm gonna grab that. So I'm gonna take these and put one in there. And guys, I do not use the Loctite they send with it. It's gonna be a whole lot harder to get these things out if they are uh, Loctited in there. Good enough. All right, guys, we are almost done. All we gotta do is put on our fins and put on our pulls, and we will be done. Now, I have found a little trick of putting on these pulls that you will wanna know about. So what you wanna do is take some lithium grease, if you got any, hope you do, just take a little bit of lithium grease and put on your threads. And you may not get up and get these things all the way down on there, okay? Just to give you a heads up. And you really don't need to. But we're gonna go ahead and put these on here before we put the fins on there, get it started. And we'll need a wrench. But that lithium grease seems to make it easier. Once you get down in there so far, that's about all you need to do with it. Because if you don't, it's gonna wring it off. And you definitely don't want that. So that's as far as I'm gonna go down in with it. I'm gonna take the right one and get it down in there. I might turn it just a little bit more just to straighten it up. That's all I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna get me a pair of pliers. There we go. And we have our forward and reverse. Now we're gonna put our fins back on. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I had one last step that I had to do to the video to complete it. The pins that come, uh, that, that are standard on the old drive, the old spine, uh, the, on, the, on the old GT spine, these pins that go right here, right here, have the little the, the, the little clevis pins with the little split ring on it. This this little pin right here will not fit. It's the old pin, it's too short. So whenever you order this, make sure you get the 7 8 inch pin. The item number you need for the turbo drive with the turbo fins or the regular standard fins, it doesn't matter, is 8020030. I actually called Hobie and found out what you need. Uh, it is the Clevis pin, 3 16 by 7 8 inch grip. So that's the exact name of it. Um, just be sure to uh, order those with, with the fins. Uh, you have to have those pins. If not, you can't, you can't mount the fins on the, on the, uh, on the drive. So make sure you get those, that set of pins and you'll be good to go. So, you know, I just had to get those pins, and once I got those pins, I was able to, to, to mount the, the fins on here, 
and I've taken it out. I've tested it. It works like a champ. Could not be happier, guys. Love having the reverse. Uh, it just, it just, it's so much better th as far as working current, working wind to keep your position. And if that's important to you, then, then you know, and to be hands free, then this is the way you want to go. You want to go, you want to go pedal drive. If it doesn't matter to you, stick with the paddle. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Just, just remember, if you want to go hands free, this is the way you want to go. This is the most and I'll go on record to say it. This is the most efficient drive that I have used yet. Um, I've used a lot of drives. I've been in a lot of boats and just the natural motion of your feet going like this right here is just, it's effortless. I mean, you, you can be going at a clip, uh, riding beside somebody um, in the same type of boat or in a different boat that, you know, it's got a pedal drive me going anywhere from two, two and a half mile an hour and not exerting yourself. You're just cruising along. And then we get ready to go fishing. We can go fishing because we got the drive to, 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 to keep us where we need to be and in the position we need to be. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you for all your support. Um, been doing a lot of video in here lately. Uh, been doing video for Pomper Nation. Um, for MLF, got to go over Raleigh to, to, to uh, hang out with some of those guys. That was awesome. Um, got to meet with them, talk to them, you know, learn a little bit about them, where they're from, all that good stuff. So if you don't follow Pomper Nation, be sure to follow Pomper Nation on their YouTube channel because um, I'm going to be doing a video for them and uh, all those guys will be doing a little interview, uh, did a little interview with me. So. Um, if you want to follow them, check out the, the that YouTube channel. I'll put a, I'll try to put a link. Remember to put a link in the description below. I also did for some video this past weekend for the Lady Bass Angler. So if you do not follow them, be sure to jump over there to their YouTube channel. I do a lot of videoing and stuff for them. Be sure to check them out. And one other thing, I just bought a new drone. I'm excited. It is not a DJI. I'm sorry, it is not a DJI. It is an Altel Evo by Altel Robotics. Uh, so it's a, it's a U.S. company. It's coming up in the ranks, guys. They are they are they've got the competition rolling. 4K at 60 frames per second. That's what I'm after right there. You can't get that in a DJ, DJI drone until you step up to the Inspire. And. Uh, they say this thing's awesome. It should be here in a few days, and I hope to get some really cool footage with it. I am really, really excited about it. They got it on sale right now, actually, uh, for $9.99. So if you're in the market for a drone, be sure to go check them out. Um, I don't have any affiliation with them. I'm just letting you know what I've got going on, and I've got a new drone coming. So if anybody's in the market for a Spark, let me know be sure to message me i will i've got my i'm gonna put my spark up for sale it's got all the everything with it it's a dji spark um it's brand new i ain't had it that long i have used it a few times but i, ain't, I have not had it that long it's got three batteries with it remote control cables all that good stuff um bought a thing so you can put an ipad on it you know if you want to use that um anyway if you're interested in that Send me a message. I'll be sure to, uh, I, I'll send you back a price on what I'm what I'm thinking about asking for it. So, woo! All that being said, guys, thank you very much. Y'all are awesome. Subscribe, leave a like, and uh, tune in for the next one. Peace out, guys.